And as Jared just said, we could see more ice on the roads tomorrow, just like we did today. Portions of Harvey Mitchell Parkway were shut down today and sections of Highway 6 were closed, diverting traffic to the feeder road. KAG's HD News reporter Chris Costa shows us how drivers handled yet another slippery morning. The roads weren't the only thing frozen this morning as traffic stood still around the Brazos Valley. For the third time in less than a month, icy conditions caused major traffic delays during the morning commute. We're not used to driving in these conditions and our vehicles aren't, aren't equipped to, to handle a lot of these conditions. Once or twice a year does not make for a good driver in the bad weather. Between 5 in the morning and noon, College Station police responded to more than 70 traffic situations. Everything from major crashes to drivers who slipped off the road. Ryan police responded to 13. TxDOT crews were prepared, laying down magnesium chloride and grade 5 rock, but they say that black ice made the roads difficult to treat. When you get the black ice, the material we put on there, you have to go back and reshoot the material because it freezes up. One tip from TxDOT is to actually steer into the skid. They say that if you slam on your brakes, your tires become like this phone cased in rubber, and they slide along the ice. Everybody probably thought, hey, Maybe just a little wet outside, but I think still speed was a factor in a lot of the incidents that we saw today. Just be more mindful of your surroundings and everybody else. You, you know, you may be being really careful, but there's other people that aren't being careful. You need to watch out for other people also. Preventing future accidents by driving to the conditions. In College Station, Chris Costa, KAGS HD News. And later in Jared's full forecast, we'll find out when exactly we should expect to see more ice on the roads.